Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Bruno. We are back once again, and I got something kind of spicy. So, Peter Chen is a fantastic player, fantastic team builder, and they dropped this wild, wild team in Peoria the other day, and it features a Star Raptor, which is interesting. I had some friends bring a Star Raptor. Shout out to Rich, and shout out to Micah. They brought a Star Raptor because they had to. They couldn't find a Landorus in time, but Peter use star raptor kind of like a landorus you have a lot of utility right you with its cycle intimidate you have u-turn choice scarf all that stuff but then you just have some big old brave bird damage with terra flying that just slaps you also have close combat for like your heat trans and stuff the stuff you don't the stuff really trick room doesn't want to deal with because this is a hard trick room team we have the dark fru we have the ursa luna we have the torque we know what those things do then we have a Ferrigarath with Agwav Berry, which is really, really cool. Um, just kind of lives even longer than you need it to. And then we have a Screamtail, which you don't usually see in Trick Room, but it has Trick Room, Dazzling Gleam, Encore, Helping Hand. It can just, I mean, you can set up a Trick Room. It's so beefy, it'll live enough to set up a Trick Room. And then you can just sit there and just Helping Hand Torkoal and just let Torkoal blow things up with Eruption. So I'm excited to try this team. Star Raptor is a really cool spicy pick that kind of... That kind of shook up the um, the, the the tournament in uh, in Peoria because I mean I, I'm looking at it right now. I think that's the only Star Raptor the top 32. Uh, like I said, my friends brought it and they did really well. But like this is this is wild to see this thing up here. So I'm excited to see. I mean, I got I got tenth. What can, you know, I, I gotta play it right? So let's see what this 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 bird can do. Uh, I will put all of Peter Chen's info and links and Twitter and socials and all that stuff down in the description. Please follow them. Amazing player, amazing team builder. Reynolds up there. The paste will also be down in the description. Also, uh, my link to my Discord's in my description if you want to join. Also, please sub to the channel. Like, comment, subscribe. Do the YouTube stuff as usual. Your support is greatly appreciated. I love you for it. I'm trying to hit 2,000 subs before the end of the year, so it'd be awesome if I can get there. But anyway, I've spoken enough. Let's go do some more bird stuff. We can't keep playing more of these bird teams, but let's go. All right, we got a uh, we got a match against Mario BJ. Weird name. Um, they have they have a pretty they have a pretty standard team, right? Um, the good thing is it's size spam, but I don't care about about some of these things, right? I don't care about taunt. I don't care about fake out. They can't e speed. I have a Ferrigarath. We're good. I'm gonna lead Star Raptor. I'm gonna lead Ferrigarath. We're gonna have some fun with it because I can always U turn out. I can U-turn. Oh, I can U-turn out to an Ursa Luna. I like doing Ursa Luna stuff. What if I U-turn out to an Ursa Luna and Torkoal? Torkoal feels good. Urshifu feels really good, too, because I can hit through Protects. Um, I just like blowing things up with Torkoal. I'm assuming that they don't have Rain Dance on Tornadoes because it's a Fire Pond. If anything, they have Fire. I like fire. Let's bring a Torkoal. I feel like a good. I feel like this is a good four. I feel confident about this. Let's see what we can do. I want a Star Raptor. Thanks. Star Raptor is pretty cool. Come on, let's Star Raptor. Thanks. Star Raptor. Oh no, Doggy's asleep. It's not a flattering uh, angle. All right, Mario. What you got for me? Main pal. They can obviously tear a ghost. We get, we get, that's actually fantastic. I'm gonna U turn into the flutter. Do I tear a fairy trick room? They could, they could crunch. I don't think they have crunch. If they have crunch, we lose right now. We U turn trick room. I don't think they have crunch. I am inclined to believe I may have messed up. Um, I could be setting my Ursa Luna into the line of fire where it just drops to an icicle crash. I could be setting my Torkoal in to get too much damage on it. Ursa Luna it is. 
We gotta see. I, if anything, there's no way they icicle the bird, right? Oh my gosh. Fr uh, Frigraph misses, okay. And Moonblast into Frig. Okay, this is what we call a fantastic series of events that just occurred. We love to see these things, frankly. They feel great. Ursa Luna gets off the burn. Oi, let's go. Um, I just headlong rush and dazzling beam, right? Icicle crash is unfortunate. They needed it to hit and flinch. Whether they whether they got the flinch, we don't, we'll never know. Guess we'll never know. Withdraw. What are you gonna send in there? Tornadus, probably. Oh, Rillaboom. I'm not gonna like a headlong rush. Yeah, I figured that much. They should still do a solid chunk, right? Oh! Ow! Oh! Ow! Okay. That hurts. Hurts a lot more than it should. Alright. A little bit of chipski. Don't really matter. Uh, Ursa Luna is great. I don't know. If it goes down, it goes down. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna headlong rush over here because they can always tear a ghost or swap in the other thing. Now Dazzling Gleam. Right, they can always dazzle, or they can always, um, they can always bring in the, the, the Flutter Man. They can always tear a ghost. Rilla can just stay here and wood hammer whatever it wants to wood hammer, but they, what they don't know, they fail to realize. Please, and please fake out. I forget. Please forget what my 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 monk my uh, my giraffe does. But I do have a torpor waiting for you in the back, mm, and that would be really cool. I <laughs> playing trick room on close team ladder is always dicey. This is 100% gonna be a Terra ghost on the Champau. Because they think I would vacate into that spot. I'm not gonna vacate. I know it's pronounced facade. I like saying vacate. Well, sorry, Chimpao. I um, I didn't want to play it. I wanted to play it safe. Big old sash. Don't care. D double defense drop. My my Ursa Luna is going down here no matter what. But. I do have a little turtle. I have, I have a little turtle. Oh, you you turn my frigograph? I have a turtle for that. If you want to do that, you can do that. I mean, that makes sense. That was the smart play, in all honesty. Fluttermane, in comes Rillaboom on the other side. Spoiler alert, we, already, we know how this goes usually. Watch. Oh, you brought an Ogre Pond. Oh, I think you threw just now. I honestly think you just threw. Right, Trick Room. Two more turns of Trick Room. That's fine. I have no reason not to headlong rush over here. Do I tear a fire? Yep. <laughs> yes, I do, because that'll take care of the Ogre Pond. Whether if it doesn't protect, which I'm assuming it's going to spiky shield. But I don't care if it spiky shields. I have a weird idea for the end game where I'm just going to U-turn around my Star Raptor. I'm assuming you're probably specs on the flutter. You're gonna be specs on the flutter. <laughs> so 
So I'm going to swap out my Ursaluna. Do I swap out Ursaluna and get a minus one? I think I can swap out Ursaluna and get a minus one. Actually, no, I don't care about that. They got to pick one thing to knock out. They can't knock us both out. I mean, I guess they can double grassy glide into my... Maybe a single grassy glide? I think they fake out Torkoal and grassy glide into with the Ogre Pond into my... Or Selena. Oh, no, they don't. Okay, cool. They lose. Well, GG's, homie. That was easy. We, the Star Raptor did what it needed to do. It nerfed the opening hit. It didn't U-turn. It, it pivoted out perfectly for us. So it's not the end of the world. We take that. Let's see what uh. Let's see what happens. Let's get another match. Come on. All right, we got a match. And double rain setters and double swift swimmers. You know what they don't like? They don't like trick room. Um, I do have a Ferrigarath. I do have a Screamtail. Screamtail can take a hit better than the other two, but we're going to lead Ferrig. We're going to lead Ferrig Star Raptor. I'm going to bring Torkoal, of course. I think I bring... I'm a, am I, I'm a Dark Foo, right? Yeah, I'm a Dark Foo. Hmm, that's kind of good here. I don't know what their Urshifu is, but that's... Dark Fu feels pretty good here. Ursa Luna could be good here. Ursha Fu feels good. Hmm. I do want to use Screamtail, though. Safety Goggle Screamtail is kind of cool. Let's bring... Hmm. Let's bring the Luna. I can see a world where they bring the... I, I, my biggest worry is that I'm afraid of the flying and I'm afraid of the like the Pelipper and I'm afraid of the um, the, the Basque Legion. Okay. I don't think they're Scarf. I'm gonna be ballsy. I could swap in Torkoal right now. But where's the fun in that? Let's final Gambit. I think I think they tear water surging strikes into my Ferrigarath. If they do. And they knock out for a giraffe, I lose. I'm willing to take that bet because I have. I have a bird. Don't detect. Don't do it. Why would you swap. Why would you swap Poly. Wait, what? Why would you swap Polytoad in for your other rain setter? First off, you brought both of them. Congratulations to you. Why would you. I don't know. Oh no, he is scarfed. Oh wait, I got Agwav. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Agwav? Agwav, save me. Let's go, Agwav. Oh my goodness. Agwav, save me. Let's go, Agwav. Barry. Yo. Goodbye. That worked out. Sometimes it doesn't. Um. <laughs> wow, what a turn of events. Holy crap. I'm bringing in the Luna. That's just safe. 
Always safe to bring an Ursa Luke. We're going to do a very, very basic thing where we're going to Psychic over here because I'm afraid. And I'm just going to protect... Yes. I was thinking about Terra Normaling and Headlong Rushing, but I don't want that kind of heat yet. Um, hmm. If I can get rid of one of the two Pokemon, Torkoal comes in for free and I can do Torkoal-like things. I just need them to focus down the Ursa Luna like a lunatic. Because there's, there's no reason they should focus down. In fact, I probably should have Terra Normal. Now in hindsight, I probably should have Terra Normal, Headlong Rushed, and Psychic into the Politoed. Knock out the Politoed, then they're stuck with a Rain Setter. Their, only, their other Rain Setter and something else not in there. And then I can, and I force in Torkoal and I get my son and do what I want to do. Didn't matter anyway. They had eject button. What, um, what else, what are you going to do here? This might be a little bit of an uphill climb, but it might not. Hurricane. Oh, that's gorgeous. I want, do I want to really care? Do I, I don't think I care about their rain center. I'm going to psychic over here. And I'm going to... Oh, Terra Ghost is bad for me. I'm going to swap in Torkoal right now. I'm just going to... I'm just going to straight up headlong rush. I'm just going to straight up headlong rush into that spot. That's the damage dealer, right? That's the damage dealer. That's the thing they want killing me. But we're just going to hit the delete button right now. We're going to make them have... Because they, they show that they want to click Hurricane. I want them to click Hurricane in the sun. Because now we force back in Politoed. I can obviously force back out Torkoal. All right, they hit Hurricane in the sun. Good on you. No confusion? That did a lot of damage. And you get the confusion. Fantastic series of events. Hate to see it. My end game is that Torkoal hitting, or that Pelipper hitting, um, hitting Hurricanes in the Sun. I hate that I have to say that. That's how we're going to have to play this. Why are you taking so long? You have to send in a Politoed. I'm going to obviously send out the Phrygraph. Or send, yeah, in, in place of my tur my tur uh, turtle, 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 turtle. Obviously, gonna send out the frig over my torkoal. Right, very obvious switch because I want to keep the sun up. Frig, come in. I'm gonna facade into this spot. I'm gonna have to terrify my Torkoal and try to eruption in this or not eruption, flamethrower in the sun to kill the Pelipper. Most most Politoads don't carry protect. We're about to test that right now. I feel like eject button wouldn't carry protect. The fact they brought both rain setters is weird. I mean, I get it. You see a tur uh, you see a turtle what, what? Torkoal. And you get scared. I get that. And of course you have protect and I read it wrong. Ursulina, don't hit yourself, please. Man, why? The one time they actually have protect on a thing. I think we're still good. I have helping hand. No, no, I don't. I'm 
do, do, do we think he has... Let's turn Trick Room. We're going to double the Polito because I think he wants to Wide Guard. I think he's scared and he clicks Wide Guard because Terrifier Eruption. He gets a double protect? You gotta be kidding me, man. You actually have to be kidding me. Oh, that feels so bad. Oh, that feels so freaking bad, man. The double polytoe protect. You gotta be kidding me. We can't have nice things anymore. We gotta go for the jugular, people. Does Terra Fire Flamethrower in the Sun do more than Earth Power? Yeah, it's Stab. It has to. Let's find out. What can we do? What can we do from this point, people? We've done all we can. Just don't hit a Muddy Water and an Act Drop. Yeah, I've double pro I mean, Double Protect was the correct call. That is their win con. I figured you had Weather Ball. That's totally fine. I don't care about I don't care about that. Cause that's not what I'm focusing down. We do muddy water. It does a lot in the sun. Can we land can we can we KO with the flamethrower? Oh no we can't. He's such a thick frog. Ah I lost. Alright, we gotta we gotta hit the Pelipper and hope that he misses Muddy Waters. That's the name of this game now. That does so much. It does not what man. GG's. They played it right. Double rain set they brought double rain setters. I've never seen that happen before. I've never seen it bring both. And I lost to both of them in the sun. Wild. Let's get one more. All right, last match. They have Tailwind. They have. They have that stupid Pokemon I don't like. Um. This is not a good Star Raptor. It might be a good. Actually, it might be a good late game Star Raptor. Uh, real talk. Screamtail doesn't feel great here. Do I do the very obvious thing with Ursaluna and just go Ursaluna for Regarath? I kind of want to. I kind of want to do the obvious thing and go for Regarath. Maybe late game Star Raptor could be just spicy. No, let's lead it. Let's lead Star Raptor. I'll bring Luna. We gotta bring Torkoal. Torkoal is so good. Here. I feel like I'm bringing the same stuff, but it's okay because that's the good stuff. I feel like I want to just U-turn into Torkoal. Everything in me is saying, hey, Bruno, U-turn into Torkoal. U-turn into Torkoal, trick room. Final Gambit puts on so much pressure, but I can save it for later. Oh, see, like, this is a great, great lead. Great lead. I think I'm still free to just trick room. It can't fake me out. It can't knock. It, it, I don't think. Yeah, we're just going to U-turn off. He doesn't know. He doesn't know the power of the Ferrigarath. Please taunt into me. He doesn't know the power of the Ferrigarath. Everybody say goodbye to Shiftry. Goodbye, Shiftry. Your focus, Sasha, doesn't matter. Here comes the Torkoal. Ah, do I go Torkoal or do I go... I, I think I got to go Ursaluna. I think I got... I, I want to go Torkoal. But everything in me is saying go Ursaluna and just uh, get the Flame Orb going and start doing big bear things. 
We hit a trick room. It feels good. I feel bad. I feel bad they don't know about fake out and taunt and prankster stuff. They don't know what they don't know what draft do. I'm just gonna facade into the spot. If he terror ghosts, he terror ghosts. That's how we have to play it. If he wants to if he wants to terror ghost, by some chance, he can terror ghost. He's kind of in a big old pickle right now. A large dill, if you will. I'm staring him down and he is happy. I was mean mugging. You see that? That's a choice. That is definitely a choice. That is also a choice. Boink, boink, boink. Smack. And Dazzling Gleam. And goodbye to the that thing. I feel bad. It's not over, but like that could not have been a first uh, two like those first two turns could not be worse for them, unfortunately. So I do I do feel bad. They obviously don't know about the giraffe. That that can be a problem. I'm gonna facade over here. I'm gonna Terra Ghost so I don't. Did I really need to do that? I don't know. It's fun. I don't want to take them. I don't want to take a full power Matcha and heal him back. I mean, it's probably heal back because I'm doing a Psychic and the Psychic's not gonna do too much to it, but. It is what it is. Boink, boink, boink. Smack. Goodbye, Ogre Pond. Oh, that's so massive. This bear is so good. Why don't people use the bear more? That teacup just took a lot of damage. Yeah, that's fine. Want me to show you a magic trick? Psychic? A long rush. Please take me out. I have a, I have a bird in the back that wants to have some fun. This is, he's, he's gonna drop. My bird. Yeah, that's a fast game three. I feel bad. But uh, yeah, yeah. GG's though. There was an attempt. But, man, Ferragraf and Ursaluna is just nasty. Ferragraf is still so good. Let's jump to a recap. Let's talk about what just happened. Um, more bird things. Let's go. All right, there it is. That is Peter Chen's Star Raptor team. Super cool. I feel kind of bad. We didn't use the Urshifu and the Screamtail. Um, I don't feel like we really needed to. Screamtail maybe should have come in that water match. I could have encored some stuff, maybe. I, I don't know. It gets kind of dicey. Um, we just didn't really have a real, real spot for Urshifu, but Ursha, Luna, and Torkoal did what they needed to do, and Star Raptor did a fantastic job negating damage, you turning out into the Ursa Luna to proc the flame orb onto some hard read stuff. Always feels good. Farigaraf is fantastic. It's still really good. It's, it's I like Agwav because, yeah, you take two surging strikes, you pop back up the Agwav, and then you take the third to make sure you get up Trick Room. That feels really, really good and really solid of a way to get it up too, right? Because Farig can just tank a bunch of hits. But anyway, I I like it. It's super cool to see Star Raptor come and get 10th place at Peoria. That that kind of that was kind of like the talk day two. It's like holy crap, there's a Star Raptor here. What? Why isn't it Landorus? And then I get it. We didn't get to see it do like mega Brave Bird damage, but it didn't need to. And Final Gambit, having Final Gambit on an open team sheet is just just a mind game. A scarf uh, Final Gambit, like okay, cool. Like, am I, am I gonna just nuke you turn one and you just lose a Pokemon? Like, what do you wanna lose? How do you wanna play this? So, I think it's super cool that Peter Chen brought this. The Reynolds up top as usual. I'll have the pace down in the description for you. I think this team is neat. I kinda wanna keep playing with it a little bit more and see how it can do, see how far I can take it. But, um, 
we're going to get up out of here. Do the YouTube stuff before you go. Like, comment, subscribe. That'd be rad. Also, in the description is a link to my Discord. You guys know what's up. If you want to join it, send me teams. They're cool teams. And the features of Pokemon I haven't used yet, I'll probably play it. So, we have that. But anyway, I'm going to get up out of here. I just got back from Peoria after like an almost 12-hour car ride. I'm exhausted. But I wanted to do this first because this team is too cool not to. But anyway, we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.